Hey everybody, Narelle here. Welcome back to another episode of Free Campsites Australia. This morning I have found an absolutely cracking free spot which is right at the base of Mount Buller and Mount Stirling which is in Victoria and it's about about 300 k's from Melbourne. I'll put the distance on the screen somewhere. It's a beautiful April, uh, middle of April day today. Uh, it is not snow season. Mount Buller is one of Victoria's um, uh, resort, snow resorts and it doesn't really, it doesn't open till June. So at the moment obviously there's no snow up there and it is getting a bit fresh at night time but it's still absolutely beautiful day today. Absolute blue skies, a cracker of a day. So I thought I'd show you around this free site. There's actually two free sites here. This road behind me, where the car's just going to go past, this is the Mount Buller Road or Mount Buller Highway I think. This leads uh, straight up to the, hello, this leads straight up to the uh, ski resort. So I'm right at the bottom and the actual gate to the resort is just back there about oh, about 100, 200 metres. So it's the campsites are just past the gate entry. There's no fee during um, the off season so it didn't cost anything to get through the gate. And I don't know if you, if you can actually stay at these campsites during the ski season. I'm not too sure about that. But there are two free sites as I said. There's one on this side of the road. And there's one on this side of the road. I'm staying in this one on this side of the road. It's a little flatter and there's actually more people here. There's, there was nobody on that side of the river and I tend to like to stay where there's actually other people because I'm actually on my own for the next few days. Uh, so that's why I've chosen this side. Um, but I'm going to show you around. There's a beautiful day spot here. There's a little river. There's some hikes. Um, really, really beautiful spot. And it does help that it's an absolutely beautiful day. So let's go over it. I'm going to uh, show you this free site. Okay guys, so there's the entrance of the free site and across the road is this beautiful day area where I came early this morning and stopped to have breakfast. Now there's no camping in this area here, however, I might go for a little bit of walk down here, um, obviously you can come and use the facilities. Uh, there is a uh, toilet block over there, flushing toilets, not drop toilets, uh, quite clean. And behind that is a little park and some barbecues if you wanted to use it. We've got the kids, you can see some people over there. I'm not going to go over there, it's just a like a play area. But this is an absolutely beautiful day spot. And uh, if you needed, whoopsie, there we go. If you needed water, there's water here. I actually found over there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it was actually, a, it's actually a power, power pod, because obviously there's no power over in the free site. Uh, I don't know if they're alive or not, but there was about four or five um, power outlets there. So if you wanted to charge something, you, you might be able to. Plenty of bins, plenty of shady spots, so if you wanted to come across here, you certainly could for a for a picnic or just a just a relax with you for the day. Actually, a really nice spot. Helps that it's a beautiful day today. So this was the park that I just showed you, the day area. You cannot park here, and there are signs. Up, sorry, you cannot camp here, and there are signs up everywhere saying that you can't camp here. But um, let me just turn the camera around. So that's the entrance, as you can see, that's Mount Stirling. And you can drive up to Mount Stirling, not a lot up there, but you can drive up there. It is dirt all the way, but uh, it is a pretty easy drive. Okay, so this is Mount Stirling up there. Sorry about the sun. Now, let me just flip my camera around so I can see what I'm filming. So just across the little bridge here, there's a little bit of a gravel area that you can actually get down to the river. The river's just there. Now you can camp on the other side of this little bridge, but you can't camp in this uh, big day area here. All right, so I'm actually camped in a free spot on this side of the road, uh, purely because there's more people there and I'm on my own. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's just a flatter, flatter sort of spot there's bins and everything um, but if you wanted to be closer to the toilet I suppose you could 
you know, camp down here, but there, like I said, there was no one down here. So I prefer to stay where there is actually a few people. So that's that on that side of the road. And I am at the free spot over on that side of the road. Okay, so if you want a point of reference, the entry to the free site is uh, directly, let me move back a bit. If you come past this, as you come through the resort gate, uh, you'll see this big rock with a Mount Buller sign on it. The free site that I'm staying on is ex completely, con exactly across the road. So let's go over and have a look. Not much traffic when it's not the snow season. Okay, you have to remember guys, there is actually no dogs allowed. This is a national park. So, um, yeah, no dogs allowed. It's getting busy. So what I really like about this free site, the river is just down there, or it's more like a little creek. It's really clean water. If it was warm enough, you could actually go down there and use it to bathe in. But it's a little bit on the cold side. And there's quite a few people here, but it is a very wide, very big space. So I don't think you'd have any problems ever getting a spot here. And it is school holidays as well, and there's still plenty of spots. So yeah, there are plenty of bins, recyclable, which is really good. I mean, I've seen more bins here than I have at caravan parks where you've got to pay for the bins. What I really love is a lot of people come up to Mount Buller in the off snow season to go uh, mountain bike riding and there's literally four or five caravans here where people have just left their caravans here. They feel safe enough to leave their caravans and tents here. A couple of people like the ladies before asked me if I could keep an eye on their, their tents and that for them but it feels really safe here. But guys this area I would say is good for all kinds of vehicles you've got camper vans here you've got pardon me you've got some caravans um, look I think you'd be okay with a big rig uh, just keep it in mind that there are some low trees so you know you'd probably have to you know park at the front here but you, look you could get a big rig in here um, but definitely you know good sized caravans can fit in here easily and uh, plenty of room for tents all right so as you can see fires are permitted uh, I didn't bring any firewood so sort of hoping somebody might invite me uh, invite me to their fire tonight I've already spoken to a couple of the people around here really friendly people which is lovely camper campers usually are so I've got a little fire pit here if I get the energy to gather some wood but I yeah I didn't bring I haven't been well so I didn't have a chance to cut some wood up just remember you do need to be uh, fully self-contained so you need to be able to bring your own loo there is like I said there is toilets across the road but it's a bit of a walk if you're busting um, so yeah, I've set up the little tent there and I've got the uh, shower that you can go check out my video if you want to have a look at how I have a shower on the road and I've got the little solar panels, might make another video about those. I'm absolutely in love with these little 28 watt solar panels. As much as I would love to have the uh, big solar panels, it's uh, all about space. So those little 28 watt little panels up there are just so good just to charge my phone. Literally takes, in full sunlight like this, it literally takes under an hour to charge my uh, phone which is really good and the little river little creek is just down there and I had a cup of tea sitting down by the creek before it was beautiful so honestly this water is so clear if you didn't have any water on you you could just come and bucket it out of here I never suggest drinking water from a stream or a creek but this does look super super clean water you straight off the mountain um, but to definitely to bathe and uh, to bathe and to clean up with you could just come down and and grab grab a bucket of water out of the the creek or the little stream beautiful
Alrighty, so I'm going to go for a little bit of a hike. Certainly not going to do the 8.5k. We'll see how far we get. So the track is just at the end of the campsite. Let's go. Oh, a little stream to get over. And not many people have taken this hike for a while because literally I can't see a track and there's literally like water so I'm literally haven't even walked a hundred meters and I already cannot find the track unless that's it over there but there's like water So I am not sure if I am going to continue or not because this is not a well made track. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Literally have hardly even walked a hundred meters and the track has like disappeared and I am not an experienced hiker so even though the weather's lovely and I got plenty of supplies no nah. uh, no clear track no walking for me so let's just go back to camp okay so was at the wrong spot for the trail I found the trail the trail actually is right next to the sign that says trail which probably makes more sense so I'll take you back up it looks really steep so I'm not feeling great so I'll just go up a little bit but um, I found the trail Let's go have a look. Okay, so it makes sense that the trail would start near the sign, which is trail starts there, not all the way back over there. Okay, so we're at the Clinsbourne Bridal Track, and uh, welcome to the Clinsbourne Bridal Track, a narrow single track which leads to the top of Mount Buller. This beautiful walk mirandas through scenic meadows, quiet woodlands and majestic forests providing an opportunity to retrace the steps of the region's early adventurers. 8.65 k's, four hours that's to the top of Mount Buller. Seeing as I'm getting over a cold I don't think I'm going to attempt that but we might go maybe a little ways up it. So a look. There's a little bit more information there. All right. Not feeling great, so oh my goodness. Feel the burn already. Oh, 8.5 k's of this. Oh, yes, please. Oh. I don't think I can do the first 100 meters. This is very steep. Huh. Just go to the top here, I think. That'll do. Okay, this is literally 8 k's uphill. Down's looking better. But I found the track. <sighs> there we go. Oh look, it's flat. 
<sighs> I think I'd uh, do this walk from up the top of the mountain back down. Uh, says that it's an intermediate hike. So it's still very nice. Let me come out here. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but the sky is so blue. Ah, it's just beautiful. So blue. All those trees. everybody hope you enjoyed this episode of free campsites Australia this one's definitely worth a visit if you are in Victoria traveling up to the Alpine region beautiful stop for a night or two would be cold in winter though just keep that in mind please if you have any comments leave them down below thumbs up would be great and a subscribe would be even better until next time catch you later Bye.